one of the questions that we get asked quite frequently is with regard to the abstinence period before providing a semen sample for either analysis or a fertility treatment. Now, there are quite a large number of studies investigating into the optimal number of days of abstinence. But this may not necessarily be the same for every single man out there because there are quite a lot of differences. For instance, many studies show that both the semen volume and the sperm count or concentration will increase after two days of abstinence. On the other hand, other important parameters such as motility, which refers to how well the sperm cells can move around, and morphology, which refers to the visible characteristics of the cell, can significantly decrease after two days of abstinence. And there is a more pronounced effect after about seven days. So this is pretty much why most doctors will recommend an abstinence period of two to seven days. But if you already have issues with motility or morphology of your sperm cells, with more days of abstinence, you're not helping, but you're actually hurting your chances of success. On the other hand, if your motility and morphology numbers are perfectly fine, but your numbers suffer on the volume or count concentration side, then it may be advisable to abstain just a little bit longer. So as you can see, there is no specific rule. But my personal opinion is for men with sperm motility and morphology issues, abstinence of two days should be more or less optimal. On the other hand, for men with semen volume or sperm count issues, then perhaps four or five days of abstinence would be more advisable. If you like this information, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more information like this about fertility treatments. Thank you.